Good evening, class. How you all doing? Uh, my first uh, extra credit uh, court case, I decided to choose Adidas uh, America versus Payless Shooting. Uh, the Adidas versus Payless Shooting was held at the United States District Court in uh, Oregon. The plaintiff was Adidas America, and the defendant was Payless Shoe Source Inc. Adidas manufactured sales athletic and casual footwear since 1952. Adidas has always had three striped bands on their shoes. Payless, on the other hand, is one of the nation's largest retailers of discount casual shoes, casual and athletic shoes. They have around 4,500 stores in all around the United States of America. Since, uh, since 1994, Payless has also marketed and sold their shoes with the parallel stripe just as Adidas. But the Payless has, all, has two to four stripes on their shoes unlike adidas they also sell their shoes sell rubber steel steel toes and colored portions on this back heel instead of three scribes payless uses four of them in 1994 adidas filed an action saying that payless uh willingly infringed adidas trademark rights by selling athletic shoes bearing the similar design as theirs in a settlement agreement payless agreed not to sell athletic shoes that had the three stripe design on it. Payless didn't sell any more of the shoes that had the three stripe design on it or four stripes either. Payless had a good faith in the interpretation of the 1994 settlement agreement in the combination with its own resistance of advice on a tra on its outside counsel pre collusion with the finding of this willful infringement. In conclusion, Adidas had lots of evidence that caused confusion between the three stripe mark and Payless for his two to three two to four stripes on his footwear. There was a significant issue on material fat as several of the sleek craft factors. A lot of these issues turned credible credibility and intent that Adidas had. But at the end, Payless motion for the summary judgment was denied. Uh basically in this uh court case it was a um an issue of the trademark. Because everybody knows that Adidas always uses the familiar three-stripe trademark on their shoes. That's what they've been known for for decades. Um, I honestly never knew Payless used stripes on their shoes. I never knew that. That's, that was something new that I learned while reading this. But um, one thing I can say was Payless, they should have lost like they did. They lost. They should have lost. Because everyone knows Adidas is, is known for what their three-stripes thing uh, second of all, Adidas shoes are a lot better than Payless shoes because, like I said in the uh, reading, they're discount casual athletic footwear shoes. Like anything that's discounted is not really gonna last long. Adidas has a great variety of sh shoes, whether it's athletic or just regular for fashion, they all last for a long time. Um, secondly, um, Adidas was right for everything that they did, but uh, Payless shouldn't have uh. They should have switched their design up instead of trying to copy their Adidas uh design, especially with the four scrap thing. That's, I think that's real ugly, but that's all I have for this court case. Uh, thank you all. Have a great day.